hello everybody this is a very weird beginning of a vlog um today is the day that we go traveling around the south island of new zealand we have left methven it's just gone 9 a.m we've had to leave super early this morning as we're going to a place called whoa, 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 whoa. it's not super early is it it's 9 a.m whoa we're just going through the gorge as well somewhere there there. Um, I hope I'd know that by now. I've driven here, through here enough times. How many litres pass through the gorge? I have second? no idea. It's like three million litres per second. Jesus. Well, I bet that's when it's raining. Yeah, when it's raining. Yeah, when it's full flood. Yeah. Three million litres per second. We are going to bring aura. Um, basically, we have had to get our vaccinations within three weeks. We had our first dose last week, and we then rescheduled everything to have our next dose today. And then Finn's got another set of vaccinations the day before to Fiji so it's all kind of been very very stressful the last few weeks um, I've also we've had visa problems with my visa um, basically if you don't know I have a condition which is an underlying chronic condition um, that's basically potentially going to stop me from coming back to New Zealand we're a bit unsure as of yet I basically have they've said I have to see a specialist and within two weeks we're not sure that's actually going to be feasible um, we're a little bit unsure at the moment the whole process has been a little bit Organised. Anyway, so we're going to Bangora and then we might have to have a doctor's appointment this afternoon. If so, we are going to Dunedin. If I don't, we are then going to Kaikoura and then we're just going to go either way round. Um, so that is the plan. Um, I don't know how many videos or vlogs I'm going to do. We don't actually know what we're going to be doing at the moment. It's very much kind of a, we've, I've planned the route. We just don't know what we're going to be doing there. It might be a very last minute. Oh, we'll just do this or we'll do that. Um, sort of situation. We are stay sleeping in the back of the car to save money. Uh, we've got a mat airbed, airbed mattress, we've got um, blankets, sleeping bags, cushions, so that's going to be an interesting adventure. This is a very exciting start to a lot of, lot of vlogs from now until October, really, um, until we either come back to New Zealand or Finn just comes back to New Zealand or whatever happens. Um, so yeah, make sure you subscribe down below to make sure you are keeping up to date with all the videos that are coming. Ain't that right? We, oui, madame. <laughs> and comment down below if there's anything you're excited to see or where you think we're gonna go. Or uh, where you think we should go. Or where you think we should go. Yeah, that's that's a good one. Um, and make sure you give this video a massive thumbs up. Let's get on with it. <laughs> So our super fun, exciting day isn't so super fun and exciting. So Finn got his um, second rabies vaccination. Another thing that's not going to plan. <laughs> not everything is going to plan literally at the moment. So it's not. we are now, it's not. So now it's like what? What's the time? Half 10, quarter 11. It's quarter, it's 10.45. Um, and now I've got an appointment at five o'clock in Methven. So for after that, we then driving to Dunedin so that is the plan we're gonna go that way round we don't know what we're gonna do because we've got the whole day to now go back to Methven and then drive down to Dunedin yeah but ah! we've got like hours before we need to should we have a nap in the car could do should we go we could go into Christchurch so we are gonna go to hunting and fishing okay that's the plan and then we're going to Methven and then we drive to Dunedin oh. tonight stop burping in my vlog I can't help it so that's the plan Welcome to the, we don't know how the hell we're going to fit all of this in the car and sleep in it. So currently trying to figure out how. We have, how's our progress so far? We ended up going to Kmart. Um, as per usual, we ended up getting a couple enamel bowls, plates and just like this cutlery <laughs> set. <laughs> but these were like one dollar, one dollar, those were like six dollars. So we didn't spend too much. Uh, we spent probably the equivalent of almost like ten pound. Um, so that's kind of the food we've got for snacks and everything. So yeah, we're just trying to fit it in like the front, just so we know we can fit it in because we're not going to get to Dunedin until about <laughs> we're not going to get to Dunedin until about half nine, ten o'clock tonight because of my doctor's appointments at five. Picked up a prescription for Asia, so that's all sorted. Yeah, just trying to see if we can actually sleep in it and get all of our stuff in it we made it we 
we have left Methven, well, we haven't made it, we've left Methven. <laughs> That's the first point, we've left Methven. I managed to get my doctor's appointment, which all ran super smoothly. And now we are going to Dunedin. It is now half five and we're hoping to get there about half nine. Um, so it will be dark, but we're going to stop off on the way and we'll probably get some food. It's been a bit of a crazy day. Let's go to Dunedin. <laughs> I can see me. So we are just in Omaru, Omaru it's called. We are probably about an hour and a half away from Dunedin. We've had a good three hours... Um, no, probably about two and a half hours trip down, literally non-stop. Um, and we were getting a little bit hungry as it's now about eight o'clock. So, um, quick trip. I just got literally some chicken nuggets um, and a peppermint tea. <laughs> and I'm going to drive the rest of the way. Finn has done a lot of driving today. A lot of driving. He's just getting a pizza. Um, hopefully over the next few days we'll be in campsites so we can just do some of our own dinner but today we just had to do something quick and easy and um, because it's a such a late night that's just because the doctor's appointment and he's messaging me like mad what's going on what's going on so we're just um ellie's driving now i'm driving um so we just got to dunedin um it's about quarter to ten in the evening we just missed the really nice view of all the houses yeah so we're just dropping down now into Dunedin which is a pretty cool view from the top of the um, top of the mountain or top of the hill yeah so oh watch out Eddie's driving <laughs> um, yeah so taking a little while to get here about four and a half hours because we stopped off and got some dinner and yeah we've nearly made it and we will update you Yeah, once we get to holiday park, we'll probably to do directions. probably update you. And yeah, apparently I need to do directions because I am not driving for once. I'm not driving for once. That makes a change. Yeah, I don't like driving. No, night driving's not the best, especially when you don't know these roads. This is kind of what we can see all the lights and stuff. It's actually quite pretty at night. Yeah, so basically just dropping down into the bay now. We made it in the car. Um. She just got to the campsite, it's very blurry, but it's quite why it's only like nearly probably half ten, eleven o'clock. Finn and I got the car set up. Oh, we basically had a scene. No, I got the car set up. <laughs> you were just hindered. No, you just don't you like doing it yourself. Why have I got no blanket? No, I haven't got any blanket. Well, it's not a very good blanket then, is it? <laughs> um he got the mattress. Pumped, I've got the hiccups again. I've got the mattress pumped up uh, with a cigarette lighter pump, and we basically had all the blankets and stuff ready to go. Got our sleeping, <laughs> sleeping bags out, um, blanket on, and we've literally just got ready for bed. I've got my eye mask ready because <laughs> um, there's obviously lights around the campus site and stuff, so keep these on. And fingers crossed, we actually sleep okay. I will report back in the morning. Good night. Good morning, everybody. I've already done the intro. Have you actually? Yeah. Well, so good morning, everyone. Well, hello, good morning from me. We have survived our first night in the car. Not that we slept super well, but I think we've kind of learnt from our mistakes and hopefully we'll sleep better tonight. Um, we've had breakfast. We just had just some cereal for breakfast. Um, yeah, and he didn't fancy we... making me a full cooked breakfast, did you? No. No. So we stayed at Dunedin Holiday Park, I think it is. Um, yeah, Dunedin Holiday Park, and actually the showers were paying. I phoned in the morning, and I phoned yesterday, actually afternoon, saying we'd come in late. Um, the office was closed, but they left us like um, instructions on the window um, in a little envelope. <laughs> um, and we, yeah, it was actually really nice, quite cheap. Um, shower was really good and now we're just going to have a little drive around to need and we have booked a brewery tour at the Spates uh, Brewery I can't say that word Brewery Brewery Brewery, brewery. brewery. <laughs> um, I just want to add right for what we got for $45 it's quite good really what do you mean the stay? 
well there for a stay i mean it's non-powered obviously but i think for for what we got 45 dollars for both of us wasn't bad really we slept in a car which was fine we were always going to do that the showers were really good they have kitchen facilities like i think big, that's big kitchen facilities yeah you can't really complain with that tv lounge so you can go and have a quiet yeah watch tv and stuff yeah it's quite good so uh, yes yeah, so as i say we booked a brewery tour um that's it Brewery. Brewery. <laughs> Brewery. Um, and yeah, we're just going to drive around. We're going to go to the steepest hill um, in the world, I think it is. I have a feeling. So yeah, we'll have a little wander because obviously we came at night, we didn't see much. So we'll have a little look around to need and see what it's like. Um, and yeah, hopefully have a good day. Um, and then later on, we drive to Tiano. 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 So I need to book the camping site for that tonight um, in a little bit. Um, that's the great thing about off-peak season is that we can just book it the same day and most places will have availability and then I'm going to book the Milford Sound Cruise yeah so let's have a good day in Dunedin see you senor goodbye <laughs> all right so we've made it to the world's steepest street <laughs> and to me that looks pretty steep we're gonna attempt to walk up it Right. This is hard. I'm going up the steps, this will be easier. <laughs> it looks very steep to be fair. This is doable. Well, we made it. It's 350 metres long. And however many metres high it is. I ran to the top of it all the way. Joking, I only ran the last little bit. Now I've got to climb back down. Let's go. I think climbing down it is actually worse. Yeah. That's why I'm glad they've got stairs. <laughs> there is no, it's not that bad. There is a lot of tourists, so I will say that. But then obviously we're tourists, so. But the view is pretty cool. I mean, look at all the mountains, about the hills. The hills. And it's impressive how they've just got houses either side, and it makes me question like, how does a car get up here? Because it is like, if you go to the edge of it, it is it's probably like pretty a, damn steep. It's probably like a two percent gradient ice. Yeah, it is pretty. Yeah, it's very steep. I wouldn't want to drive up it. Our car is all the way down at the bottom. One. Just be warned that it does say no turning or exit, um, but I think people just do it anyway. <laughs> um, I mean, people aren't going to just constantly drive up here, especially because there's so many uh, tourists. Yeah, We've me. parked up um, just in a two hour bay um, and we just come to the train station. We drove past this yesterday and saw some of the trains and thought, oh, we better have a little look. But the architecture and stuff is really pretty. Um, not like in a lot of the rest of New Zealand. Yeah. yeah, the architecture here is really cool. Nice garden, obviously doing some renovation to it. But the architecture is really nice. Right, let's go in. This is really cool in here. It's obviously all it's all kept its old kind of I look at the floor. This is really cool. I think someone's done that all by hand. I know. Um, when did it say it was built? This is like the, one of the first and oldest um, train stations in New Zealand. So um, this is one of three that were in Dunedin. This is like between 18, 1850 and uh, 19-something. Mm -hmm. It was, um, I think it was built. You don't see a lot of train stations in New Zealand. Like public transport isn't a massive thing. Um, I will say that it's, it's mainly just cars and there's not a lot of buses or trains. Yeah, so it's really nice to actually see something like this and it's kept it, it's old style-esque um, architecture which is really nice to see as well, it's not modernised too much. 1910, so, so pretty much 1850 to 1910 it was. Um... But it's still running, you can see down at the edge there there's some trains over there and I think it is still a running train station, you can get some trains along the coast. You can go all the way up to the north there, can't you? 
I don't know. I'm not sure about that. Maybe there to Christchurch. Is a, I think there is a train that you can go all the way from, um, from sort of north down, uh, from south down here up to um, kind of north near Nelson, I think. Yeah. So this is what we drove past yesterday and then we saw it. You can't particularly see because of the window, but yeah. It's a 1956 New Zealand train. Which is pretty cool. So we've just come into I don't know what it's called, I think it says it said the Targo Settlers Museum. Might have a little look around to see see what this is all about. One of the best ways to find out about a place is definitely going to museums. So the museum is free, but I'm guessing likes donations, but I love coming into just a random museum. This is the Otago Settlers Museum. We've been given a map. I'll just open it. It's a bit loud in here. And I think it must show you just some history about Dunedin and New Zealand and how it was created I think so have a little look in here and I'll let you know what it's like we are now going to just get a bit of food before we go to the Spates brewery tour and then we will probably go to the Lachlan I think it is castle it's like the only castle in New Zealand so I want to go to that he's found his hat he's telling you um, so then we're going to the Spates brewery tour and then the Lachlan um castle <laughs> So we're in a cafe called Catalyst, just quickly having some um, food before we go to on our brewery tour. We've only got about 10 minutes before we really need to go, but yeah, looks good. Mm. Space tour. Space tour. <laughs> So we have finished the brewery tour, um, it was good, I do recommend doing it, um, it only cost us via book me around $20 each um, and got free beer at the end or Finn got some free beer at the end, um, <laughs> loads. loads so you can taste a little bit of like um, loads of different types of ones. And now we've just come to a place called Larnac or Larnac or Larnac, I don't know what it's called, castle. It's not really a castle, I'll show you. It is more like a manor house like you'd find in England. Um, they did say it was one of the only manor houses um, historic. in historic manor houses castle in the whole of um, New Zealand. Now my battery is running out of charge so if I don't speak any further we will update you probably via my phone. Look at that. And a little hedgehog. Hey. You never see him back in the UK. No, like that's the second one I've seen. Like like that. You never see him back in the UK like that. No. Up close. <laughs> so that's the manor house. We haven't paid to go in. Um but it's pretty. It's very pretty. Let's have a little wander around here. What, what nice lighting to <laughs> We've been really lucky with the weather. It's been very good weather today. We've pretty much seen Larnac. I can't say. I'm guessing it's Larnac Castle. Um, it pretty much took less than half an hour to walk around the gardens. It is very small, so just be aware of that when you are coming. It's not massive. It's been a nice little walk, but do I think it was worth the money? Not particularly. Um, so just bear it in mind if you do decide to come. But it was nice to just have a little look and before we go. So now uh, we are just going to go to um, Tia Anu. Tia Anu. I say all of these places wrong. So it's going to take about three and a half hours. Um, hopefully it should be a fairly easy drive. We are going to stop off at a supermarket like Countdown or New World here. Just to grab some food because it will be shut by the time we get to Tia Anu. So we'll probably just get a few bits just to have um, a bit of dinner on the way. Instead of getting another takeaway. So that is the plan. Um, I might update you when we are at Tia Anu. Um, Tia Anu and I'll probably finish this vlog. 
um hope you're enjoying this video so far i'm still trying to get back into the vlogging sort of style um but yeah let's go on a three and a half hour drive <laughs> i'm sure it'll be fine just gotta keep motivated and yeah hopefully it'll be good and this was the end of the video when we got to tianu um we were so so tired and i decided to just put these into two vlogs because i've actually got so much footage and the next vlog honestly will be amazing there is so much footage of milford sound so make sure you subscribe to watch that um i hope you enjoyed this video um as i say there's so much to look forward to um in the next few months where we're going to be traveling um and yeah i hope you enjoyed this video i will see you next time bye guys